Right then guys, how's it going and welcome back to a new video and we have some good news today because Steve Bruce has officially left Newcastle United. Uh, way overdue, we have not won a game yet this season, he's won 7 games in 38 matches, regardless of we, whether we had a takeover or not, he should have been gone ages ago. Um, and I was genuinely surprised that the first thing the new owners didn't do last week was remove Steve Bruce day one. You know, I was genuinely surprised that he was still in the dugout at the weekend against Spurs. But the new owners were in the crowd and they saw firsthand how bad we've been. Now, don't get me wrong, Spurs are a good side and I did not go to that game expecting a win. But, despite the first 10 minutes where Wilson got a goal and everything was glory, happy days, the last 80 minutes, we were terrible again. Um, and this is, the, this is where we're at now. You know, we, we can't change the team right now. We have to wait till January. But one thing we can't change is the manager. We've seen Lascelles and Hayden having a bust up. The whole thing's just gone so sour and we need a new manager in ASAP. As I say, I was starting to get a little bit worried this week. We saw what happened last week. Steve Bruce turned up, took training for a few days and then he played the game. I thought Monday night it's going to happen. I thought Tuesday lunchtime it's going to happen. It still hadn't happened this week. The longer it was going on, the more worried I was getting that we were still going to have Steve Bruce in the dugout against Crystal Palace. But thankfully... As of Wednesday morning, Newcastle United tweeted to say, Hashtag NUFC can confirm that Steve Bruce has left his position as head coach by mutual consent. The club would like to place on record its gratitude to Steve for his contribution and wishes him well for the future. Again, he's gone now. I don't need to rant about Steve Bruce anymore. Uh, what we need to do now is look towards the future of who will be next in the job. I mean, one thing, you know, the, as we saw with the um, the NUFC poll that went around, I think it was like 95% of Newcastle fans wanted Steve Bruce out. There was still a small proportion of people who wanted Steve Bruce to stay. I think you could probably gather that I wasn't one of those people. I mean, if there's one thing I can say about Steve Bruce is he was working under an owner of Mike Ashley who basically tied one hand behind his back and said, good luck. You know, he hasn't really had the back and he should have. Yes, he did go out and spend money on Joe, Wil um, Joe Wilton, um, Willock and, and these kind of players. But in terms of the Premier League, one £25 million signing in the summer when we almost got relegated last season is not enough to help a struggling manager. Uh, having said that, I think our squad is still better than the way we are playing right now. Um, you look at players like Sean Longstaff, who was worth 40 million three years ago. You know, you'd be lucky to get 40p now. And, and that is under the Steve Bruce regime, unfortunately. So yes, you can't say that he didn't have the back and he should have had, but I still think with the players he's got, we should be doing a lot better. Um, thankfully for us now we've got players like Wilson back from injury and I'm hoping from today we are going to start making our way up the table um, or at least into 17th until the end of the season and don't get relegated you know at, at this point now even 8 games in if you just offered me 17th for a fresh start in the summer I'd, I'd rip my hand off you know I just want to get to the end of this season and still be in the Prem so in, anyway in terms of moving forward what is next? Um, the, the club have also tweeted out to say that Graham Jones will lead the team on an interim basis, starting with Saturday's trip to Crystal Palace. He will be supported by his, his coaching team. So, again, that was something that I thought was becoming an issue because if I'm not mistaken, I actually heard that Graham Jones had come out and said he didn't want to be caretaker manager. Now either that wasn't true or uh, the new owners have had another word with them and said, you know, help us out here. Maybe they've given them a, an extra little bit of pay for, for the work you'll do in the, in the meantime. But this is what I wanted to happen 
um, over a week ago. This was what I wanted to happen day one. You know, fair enough, you need to take time to find that new manager. But in the meantime, I think because of how sour and toxic everything's gone, again, we've seen the likes of Lascelles and Hayden fighting. Um, you know, we need to just completely strip out the manager and just try and start afresh. Now, it will will it will not be a, a, an entirely fresh start because obviously Graham Jones has been working in the club for some time now. But I'm hoping that just it will bring a, a some sort of a fresh attitude to going forward. I think the real fresh we need is for that new manager to come in. And as I say, we have been linked with everyone under the sun in the last uh, week or so. Um, player uh, managers like Conte have been spoken about again I don't think he's going to want to come and manage um, relegation fight in Newcastle he'll want to come in three years time when hopefully we might have made some progress talk about Rafa um, he said he doesn't want it Steven Gerrard said he doesn't want it you know if this had happened in the summer I think players uh, managers who already have a team like well, Rafa was a free free at the point at, in the summer. I think trying to pull a manager away from a team he's already at eight games into the season, it's never going to be easy. You look, you know, whether Rafa wanted to, to come back to Newcastle or not, it, it looks terrible on his reputation to be there for eight games and go. You know what? Sod it. I'm going over here. Same with Steven. Same with Steven Gerrard. Same with Brendan Rodgers. Regardless of whether these guys are actually interested, it's going to be really tough to pull them away for them to still look good. You know, I mean, Steve Bruce did it and, and that tells you something. But I think these guys would not do that. So now you're looking at the other side of things of managers who are not currently connected with the club. And we've kind of ended up with the short list that we had, you know, before we even had a takeover. You know, it was it was people like Lampard, uh, Eddie Howe, managers who don't currently have a club. And to be fair, we're managers who were linked with us before we even got taken over. Um... And <laughs> I like Eddie Howe. I think at this point, if Eddie Howe stepped in, well, they've already said Graham Jones will take charge this Saturday, which just shows they are not in an immediate rush to try and hire someone in the next 48 hours before we play the next game. It's not to say that that won't happen. Happen If something escalates, if things happen quicker than planned, then maybe we could see someone. But I think realistically what they're, may, well, what they're aiming to do is to try... And give themselves basically a week from today to try and have that next manager lined up. And the odds on managers taking over is changing on a daily basis. It was Eddie Howe who was um, at the top of the list yesterday. I think as of today, it's uh, one of the uh, ex-Roma manager who is now top of the list. So as I say, it's a constantly revolving door of what seems to be the next number one manager for us. And all we can do is wait and see. Um, let me know down below in the comments who you would like to see is the next man in the job. Are you happy with it being Graham Jones in the dugout? Or would you have preferred for us to wait off that little bit longer and try and have that direct replacement? Um, would you be happy to see Graham Jones take charge a little bit longer? You know, if he does go out and somehow get a win against Crystal Palace... Is he worth keeping on for that little bit longer? I think we will have a tough job on our hands against Palace. I'm hoping that the boost of the uh, Steve Bruce going will be something that the players can play off. And, and, and basically, this is the players' chance to kind of say, you know what, it was Steve Bruce's fault. Don't blame us, it wasn't us. It's not our fault we haven't won a game in eight. It was him. Because if we go and beat Crystal Palace now, that suddenly makes it look, oh, it was Steve Bruce. You know, the players are all right when they get together and they're told how to play properly. So the players will definitely want to go out and show that it isn't their fault that we've been terrible since the start of the season. But saying that, um, Crystal Palace is always a, t a tough team to go to. Um, I can't remember the last time we actually won a game there and I've been there a few seasons in a row now. Unless it was during the COVID, because I didn't go then. Uh, but anyway, it will be... A tough game, uh, but let me know down below. Would you are you happy to see Graham Jones go on a little bit longer, or do you want to see that direct replacement? And if we do get that direct replacement, who do you want it to be? As I say, the list is as long as my arm of people who we are linked with. As I say, 
I think it's gonna it's gonna be one of these guys, or it looks very likely it's gonna be someone like Eddie Howe or Lampard. And as I say, at this moment in time, we don't have to plan for the next ten years right now. You know, and we don't have to put these managers on a contract like Steve Bruce had, where we're going to pay them over the next 10 years. We're going to pay them a small amount, but every week over the next 10 years, because Ashley doesn't want to have to pay an actual real wage. We can offer these guys, you know, a one or a two year deal with a normal managerial wage. You know, we don't have to tie them down for 10 years like we did in the past. We can offer them a normal contract. And if it isn't working by the, I don't know, three month time or even the end of the season we can look in other places so I also think we don't have to try and plan the next 10 years of the club by next week but we do definitely need for something to happen for the immediate future uh, because again priority we don't want to be in the relegation zone at the end of the season. But yes, let me know what your thoughts are on Steve Bruce Gordon. No doubt if you're a Newcastle fan, you'll be happy. Uh, and let me know who you want to see next in the managerial chair. All right, guys, thanks for watching as always. And I'll catch you later.